Okay, so I wanted to jump on because a lot of people have been asking about the Mythic Shop rotation. We haven't had an update or any info about the Mythic Shop and its rotations for a while now, maybe two or three months. We were actually meant to get a Mythic Shop list every three months. At least that's what Riot told us. So where the hell is it? What's going on? Well, the good news is we at least have an update and best ask Rioter Caden House on Twitter, why didn't we get it? And he responded saying the recent dev update they did, they didn't have enough space for it in that video to let us know what the next mythic shop rotation list will be so apparently it's going to be given to us in a separate article before patch 14.14 now bear in mind the next patch 14.13 is actually a three week patch so it's still a whole month away until the mythic shop rotates anyway and we will find out before then and Cadenhouse also adds that they'll try and have this out alongside 14.13 but ideally sooner so we might actually get it before next week's patch so that's what's happening with the mythic shop rotation now what I also I want to talk about is there's a lot of giveaways happening at the moment from the official lol esports accounts that i've noticed and you can participate in these and they're giving away a lot of chests and skins each week if you do this so the first one is from esports santander they've posted a tweet saying that you can enter in the code shown which is nexus 10 you can enter it in on their website you can play a quiz test your knowledge about the lec and you can win some skins hextech chests and even a trip to the lec finals and i believe they're giving away a lot of stuff every week for this so i'll post links below you can check it out yourself but in terms of the skins they're giving away they've posted images and it looks like blood moon aatrox dragon blade riven pajama guardian soraka cafe cuties gwen leblanc championship soul fight and a fairy and both kda evelyn skins so they're giving away these skins and some chests so it could be worth entering into this if you do want to win some of these prizes and on top of this the official lol esports website have published an article about a new partnership they have and they're giving away a lot of masterwork chests now this particular promotion you have to create an account on the sponsorships website they'll ask for your name and email and country or region now i'm not your mother you could probably make these details up i'm not going to tell you what you should put but it's up to you if you do want to participate in this whether you give away your real name or main email it's up to you and what they're actually giving away is 20,000 masterwork chests so that is a lot i believe it's a first in first serve basis so the first 20,000 people will get a masterwork chest code sent to their email now they do provide a list of countries and territories that this is eligible for however i believe the codes are global so it's up to you what info you put into this website i'll put a link to this below if you want to check it out so between both these giveaways you could win some chests and maybe even some skins moving on to vgu updates spider axe has given a hint on reddit because someone asked about victor or heimerdinger being confirmed as the next vgu however spider axe said it's neither of those two champions so whatever that means we'll have to find out but it's definitely Definitely not going to be Victor or Heimerdinger. Next up, Ryder Barack Probama has mentioned the annoying orange dot in the client, the one for TFT, will be fixed in an upcoming patch. So that's been bothering a lot of people and Riot are aware of it and have a fix ready to roll out. And moving on to the T1 skins because this is another thing people have been asking about. And according to Ryder Pupulazers, the skins are planning to ship a little bit after the summer event. So it's a little while away and it's after the next event. So this could be August or later. And next up, Riot have actually added an infinite xp mission into the client and this is useful for people who are struggling to complete the pass whether it's because you play a ram or arena or non summoner rift modes now for a lot of us we completed the pass pretty quickly even as someone who plays mostly a ram the pass was completed really quickly so this will probably be useless for a lot of people but for those who are struggling then there's an infinite xp mission so hopefully this means everyone will be able to complete 100 levels but bear in mind there's nothing once you've completed the pass there isn't an infinite loop so i'm glad riot have at least added this and as they say this is a pure buff and it should take less than half the time to hit max level with this so although this is good for the current pass it'll be interesting to see if they use this pass model in the future going forward depending on how successful it was for them and it'll also be interesting to see if they nerf or change it because the first version of this pass is good but they may nerf it over time like they have with the previous system moving on rider gradients would like people to fist bump more because apparently according to this challenge not enough people are doing it so there is a challenge for this and the more fisting you do in game then the higher rank you will get on this challenge so whether you care about this there is a challenge for it and moving on the lol esports website has been updated and a lot of people were impressed by the new design and a writer mentioned that they did in fact fix the logout bug that was happening to a lot of people so as you probably experienced the website was logging people out for a while and a lot of us thought this was intentional to stop people afk farming drops but apparently 
apparently it was a bug and it has been fixed. So that's all the news for today. I'll post all the links for those chest and skin giveaways below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.